Hello everyone, it's Rita here and uh, today I'm going to try a little project that I saw uh, Kathy's Garden make. Um, it's a it's pretty simple but it was um, I thought very effective. You know when you get finished you feel like you've done more than how hard it is. If it's, I don't think it was hard at all but um, so anyway, I'm, this is 10 by 10 inches high by 8, 10 inches high by, that's hard to tell, 8 and a half. So I was trying to find paper that was, um, oh, wait a minute, I've, I've got to score this. I was trying to find paper that, um, wasn't going in any particular direction or up and down. Oh, I tell you, it drives you nuts trying to figure that stuff out. Okay, so I'm just going to score one side uh, half inch because we're going to make a flip. So that's going to go that way and then this is going to go up to that flip. It doesn't have to, I don't think, go all the way to it because you might need that space. And then crease it down. Alrighty. So far, so good. Okay, now we're going to cut this in half. And I think it was six and a half or four and a half. No, I think it was four and six. So I'm just going to cut it at four inch, four inches here. going to go on top of each other like so. Okay, and then that's going to be the flip. Okay, so now here we need to punch a divot. And we need a divot up here too, so might as well put them together. That way I know they're both going to be the same. And one and a half inch uh, circle. Wait a minute. Push that in because that would not be the center. Oh, sorry. I, you know me. I'm like mixed up. Okay, that's about center. I was thinking I didn't have that at the top. But I don't want it at the top, right there. Okay, I guess it's okay. All right, so now I'm going to ink a little bit around here before we glue things together. I don't know if you've seen this before. Um, I, ha I might have seen it, I just don't remember. I um, can't remember half the stuff I see. Someday I'm going to have to figure out a system. I should just pick out ephemera that I like and just make it whether I need it or not for the particular journal but if it does work for the journal then good you know that would be good but okay so now these two are going to fit together like so and they need to be glued separately so we're going to glue the bottom and the sides, the bottom and one side. I can do a straight line. Okay. So that 
closes that one off. And now we're going to do the same thing to this one. That's what I mean by easy. I mean, this is super, super easy. Now, if you wanted to, I suppose you could do, you know, a different, um, you know, make this one higher or not. But if you're going to put a tag in there, you want it to be able to flip. So I'm going to take this small flip here. My glue, it just is, it's coming out, but it's so, such a fine stream of it. Probably need to get in there and clean it out again. And then we're going to, to match those up if we can. And then that will be our flip that goes on the edge of the other page. Now let's see, we lost some... Hmm. I think I can just um, do a little um, scoring and get that a little closer. Okay. All right. So now um, we need to put something in this pockets. And we have the flip. Okay. So this is not going to get glued down. That's what I was trying to figure out here. So, um, Kathy put, um, little tabs on hers. I had these green ones that look nice with the strawberries. So she did like one here and one up here to open each side. I feel like they're too big and I don't have any more of that green, uh, paper. I think these might look okay. They're just um, non-generic. You know, they don't go with anything. I hope that's a word, non-generic. <laughs> and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I thought it made it... All these little tiny things that you do like this just um, add to the character of the uh, piece of ephemera you're making. Alright, so I'm just going to try to go somewhere around the middle of that. I hardly ever get to use my punch that, did I do that on the right side? Oh yeah. Um, that I can do the well tell tabs with. I'm going to ink inside here too because I can see that I can, it's like this one's already been inked. Um, my well tell tab maker. I don't have anything I want to punch, any leftovers <laughs> that I want to punch yet. And then I was watching, oh, let's see, what is her name? Um, so she she has a YouTube channel, something Cove, Creative Cove, maybe? I barely ever watch her because um, I don't think I've subscribed, and if I did, I could... I. I can't even find who I subscribe to because there's so many of them. Uh, you know, to go down the list. If I could just type in something like alphabet, the, you know, if it's... Uh, um, 
if it's, you know, Gal Gastinelli, I should be able to type in G and all the G ones would come up or whatever, but no. Okay, so there's that. Now we're going to make the uh, tag. Now what she did was, um, oh, I don't know if this will work. I don't, I don't think this is a good color for this. Um, she just took and cut some coffee dyed paper the same size, uh, smaller than this, and just put coffee dyed paper slipped in there for writing. Now these, see I'm afraid to fold them because if I do then they're forever folded. But these um, might be kind of cute just to, I don't know. I don't know. I like them, but I don't. Okay, so let me get my coffee dyed paper. Do it. I think she folded that in half, but then again, mine is a little bit because this was digital, so that means I had to cut off edges. So let's make this. Um, Do it right there. Okay. I'll cut off that edge. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave these together and make little um, booklets, which I think would be even more useful than just one sheet. So I need um, six and a half and four and a half. That's four and a half right there. And this should be the six and a half left. Or around about that. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, little booklets would be cute. Let me get my corner thingy. Um, we'll do... they fit. They're not too big. Hmm. I don't know. Let me check this one out. See how it fits in there. I don't know. It just... It doesn't, doesn't look right. All right, I'm gonna just cut these in half. Just take that little fold off there and um, She bent, she folded down the tops so they would be um, a little sturdier, but then since I rounded it, I can't really do that, so I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going fine. I need a long one. show you on this one. She just folded it down like so. If it doesn't look right, I'll just um, she inked this.
So you could use your, uh, you know, digital uh, tags or things like that if you wanted to and put in these pockets. But this is kind of like make your own. So see, she did it like that, which, you know, gave it a nice firm edge to pull out. But I don't know if I like it because it doesn't match to this. Um, let me find a page. Let me see. Sometimes that helps you get a better grip. Is this well? This is going to be folded into. Let's see. I'm going to do it like that. No. I don't want to do it that way. Hmm. Oh well, I'll figure out how to fold it when I get to that point. It just seems like I... I don't have a... I guess it's just going to have to be like that with this on the other side, which I don't like very much, but maybe I can figure out something. So, I think this all just needs some ink for sure. Don't have to sit and watch me think at all. Guess that's down. So you think I should round these edges? Let's just do it on this end. Since I have another page of it. I mean another piece. Then you can see it and I can see it how it looks. I give enough ink where it's sticking out. And that wouldn't be folded down, so it would be sticking out that much. And that looks much better to me. I'll save that for something else. Okay, we are doing a jean. I think as long as you make the tags small enough, you're you're that you're not going to have a problem sliding them in and out because it's just paper, it's not cardstock, which I think is fine, you know. All right, I'll finish inking those. I might sew around them. I don't know. Okay. Now for the next part. Other than decorating it, but the next part is um, a notebook here, I think, and one on here. Let's do this back one first. I'm not sure I want to. So I pulled out this paper that I had. which I thought looked good with this. It's kind of a green color. So I'm gonna cut this off so we don't have um, the lines ending. I'll just end there. And then I will cut that here, I guess. So she took these two pages and glued them to the back. So 
So I'm going to cut it up to this line here. I don't know what the measurements are. Somewhere around four by six. A little less. Okay, so now that should fit up there pretty well. And then she glued these two together. Oh, is there more than one? Oh, yay! <laughs> Good deal. I only need two. two. Two pieces. Now, you could do several different ways to put this on. You could just staple them at the top. But what she did was um, she glued it all onto the top. Let me ink this before I can glue it down. Normally, I would fold over Okay, that's not straight enough, people. Come on. Give me a chance. get this side straight that way it'll <laughs> look straight all right so we got that one on that side and now we're going to put one uh, I think she put it on this side but I um, I don't know what do you think maybe she did this because she has that gap there Okay, I'm just going to I'm going to put it here. I think it'll look good. Okay, I'll look at that there. This paper's um a little thin. Can't feel it. Okay, and that's gonna go there. Be a little more careful these lined up. Could round these corners back down here. I think that might look good. I think I'll just round them with the small corner rounder, small edge. I 
wish in the thumbnail we could do like a mini video and, you know, like flip through what we make, um, you know, YouTube makers, because just taking a picture of things doesn't really give a true, um, a true look as to what the whole thing is. Okay. Alrighty, now that's that's done that so far. These back over here. And now we will I don't know if I want to save all this so much stuff. So many things saved. Okay, so now we're going to decorate. What time do I have? Yeah, see that was quick to make, don't you think? And, um, you know, you don't have to put the notebooks on it. You could, you know, just put, like here I'm thinking a little pocket would be cute. And something up here in the front. Hopefully I have a piece of something that would look good. A little picket fence. Okay, or a little collage. I think that's kind of nice, simple. And this one I don't think needs anything in there. Um, I could put a piece of lace at the bottom or something. I really do need to get some more lace out. I keep using the what's in my basket here. I think that looks good. And I think that that gives me my third, like one, two, three, because. I think it would look out of balance. All right, get this glue. I don't know if I asked you, but I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I'm doing okay, it's just aggravating. Some things we just have to live with, I guess, don't we? I think I'll put this on there too. Stick to the fabric better. Okay. Collages, they come in handy, don't they? They always kind of just do the trick. Okay, then up here, I want to put um, I had some little tiny band right there. Okay. Um, she had like something going across the top. I, don't know. I thought I saw something here. These little pieces are going the wrong direction. Um, what's now? 
don't like the color of those. I just want to add a little something up there. Still lift the page and write. I put that there. It takes away a little bit of it, but it's not that much. Okay. Just wonder if I should put something under it. Oh, cheesecloth. There's something. Yeah, it does add a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> it always does. Just that little something. Okay. And then this one I will use on this uh, top one. But like I said, you could could have fold over a piece of scrap paper or something that you had. Um I mean, um, notebooks. <sighs> Is everybody having good weather? No major storms out there? Because I don't know, because I don't, I don't listen to the news very often. I don't like what I hear. So, it's best not to watch it, right? Usually my phone tells me if something major is going on in <laughs> anyway. Okay, so... That's that. Now this little part, um, I was thinking a belly band would be cute to hold some kind of a journal card. Oh, that would be cute. I'm going to use these little pieces, but I've got other things that we can use those for. Oh, there's that other one. Never mind. Okay, so I think that's what I'm going to do there. Also leaves a place for... It's not going to fit on there. I'm going to cut it down. Leaves a place for... Um, oh, let's do this more even.
strawberries on there. Where'd you go? I looked up online about buying some strawberries to see if they grow here in Georgia. And they do grow in this area. Um, and they come back, I guess, year after year. But I can't remember exactly what it said. Something about planting them at different years, different stages, because they grow... They probably don't have a lot of um, fruit their first year. And like the second crop will probably have more, more fruit or something. I'm going to sew around that anyway. So I think that's fine. We'll see. Oop. Well, that looks okay. Forgot about that part. <clears throat> Anyway, so thank you, Kathy's Garden, for um, showing a video, this video. And um, it's old. Well, it's not old, old. It's like from, <coughs> excuse me, seven or eight months ago, I think it was. And I just happened across it, and I'm like, you know what? I like that because it's just a little different, and it looks complicated but it's not so I guess that's it for today yep. I like it and then to flip I'm going to put it on a page I don't know what page yet so I'm going to put it up here with my other pieces of ephemera that have, that's my little um, yeah and I'm going to probably use one of these photos. Or did I already use it? Maybe I already did. Another piece of ephemera. Yeah, I think I already put one of these in the... And then we got these journal cards. Alrighty, so still have a lot more to go. I think I might make one of these. This is a... I think it was Gail Agostinelli made these. Uh, they were altered um, envelopes. You could take an old envelope and do this little project. So I might do that because I don't have to think about something. But I always, um, they're too wide. This one I've never been able to use because when I made it I went this way and they don't fit in any of my journals. So after that I started doing them in the uh, vertical style so they open up this way and then there's still a pocket thing in there so yeah I'm gonna try that one again okay guys thanks for watching um, I appreciate all of you and all the new subscribers and uh, comments so you know, subscribe, comment, like, and all that stuff that helps uh, me get a few little pennies to buy more goodies. Okay, so thank you. Bye.